Hey everyone! Today I want to take you through the design and build process of my latest creation, the Red Reaper. It's a 3 pound horizontal spinner that's going to compete in BattleBot Sweden this November. I've poured a lot of time and effort into this little combat robot and I'm excited to share all the details with you. To design a robot you need to decide on its weight distribution. I allocated 30% for the weapon system, 18% for the drive system, 40% for the frame and armor, and 12% for the battery and electronics. This helps guide component selection. I started with the weapon system, designing a rotating blade with most of its weights far from the center of rotation. A single tooth design increases the bite of the weapon. Bite refers to the ability of the weapon to engage or grab onto an opponent effectively during an impact. A weapon with a good bite can deliver more forceful and damaging hits. What also determines how much damage your weapon does is how much kinetic energy you can store in it. The kinetic energy depends on the weapon's shape, weight and rotational speed. The faster you rotate your weapon, the more kinetic energy you get, as the kinetic energy increases with the square of the speed. If you want more energy, it's better to rotate the weapon faster rather than adding extra weight. To spin the weapon, I chose a Emacs GT2812 motor with 1842 kV, producing around 400 watts and weighing 100 grams. With a 2 to 1 gear ratio, the belt drive spins the weapon at around 13,000 RPM, offering plenty of power. For the drive system, I used two Megasparks motors from Fingertech Robotics, which combine a planetary gearbox and a brushless DC motor for compact power. Standard RC plastic wheels with foam tires coated with liquid latex improve grip and absorbs impact. To power the robot, I used a 4S LiPo battery pack with 1050mAh. And to control everything, I used a FlySky transceiver with a small 4-channel receiver. Finally, I designed a robot's frame using two 3mm 7075 aluminum plates to secure a core made of carbon fiber reinforced nylon. To protect the core and the wheels, I added a flexible TPU shield on both sides of the robot. I printed a robot core and TPU shield with my 3D printer, but I needed help manufacturing the aluminium frame. Fortunately, I was sponsored by PCBWay. With PCBWay's CNC machining service, you get high quality parts custom made to your exact specifications. They can manufacture a wide range of materials. In my case, I chose aluminium 7075, since it's the strongest of all commercial grades of aluminum. One of the biggest challenges when assembling the robot was fitting all the electronics and wires into the limited space. It's easy to overlook how much space the wires from all the motors take. So I decided to create a dedicated space just for the wires. This not only organized internals, but also made maintenance a breeze. With the assembly done, it is time to see what the Red Reaper can do. Seeing the robot come to life is always a great feeling. First, I tested the drive system to evaluate its speed and turning ability. Next, I tested the horizontal spinner to assess its power and durability.
As you could see, it is quite powerful and it spins up fast. Unfortunately, the forks in the back were way too weak and got completely destroyed. Instead of trying to make them more robust, I decided to get rid of them altogether and replace them with more TPU armor. Here you can see a comparison between the old fork design and the new TPU armor design. Another lesson learned from the test was that some screws vibrated loose, highlighting the need to secure them more effectively with thread lock. These insights demonstrate the importance of thoroughly testing a robot before a match. Here is the final design and the robot is ready to compete in the upcoming BattleBot Sweden event. The competition takes place on November 9th at Makerspace Linköping. I will record all the matches and make a video with how Red Reaper is doing. If you have any questions about building combat robots, drop a comment below and stay tuned for upcoming competition videos. See you next time.